Okay, I've got it at zero lash, and you can see when I just barely push down on the rocker, so I'm there at zero. Top dead center on number one. Both the lifters are on the base circle of the cam. So you can see right there. Here's what I mean by the base circle of the cam. Here's the globe for the fuel pump, and this is the number one exhaust. And on top dead center, this is where the lifter will be on number one exhaust, and also number one intake. The lifter is going to be right here so it's on the back side of, you know it's not being lifted at all it's on the back side of the cam and so you see the intake is there and this is the number two intake which is irrelevant for what i'm doing right now but as the engine rotates the cam rotates half the speed of the crankshaft so after the compression stroke after it's the engine fires the piston goes back down the cam's still turning the piston's coming back up the exhaust valve's opening and it's pushing the exhaust out the exhaust as it keeps turning, then here comes the intake valve opens up and it's drawing, the piston's going back down the cylinder and it's drawing in the fuel air mixture. And then it's gonna fire right here once again. And then the cycle continues. So I've got this rocker arm running to where it's just about close. And this push rod is gonna push in on the plunger. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spin the push rod as I tighten the adjuster nut to where it just wants to push the plunger in. You can see I can get it to move in and out. I'm gonna watch the plunger until I get to zero flash. So I'm on number one intake. That's zero lash. So I'm adjusting number one intake until you just see the plunger cap move. See how it moves right there? Just barely, and then back it off just a touch. So that way we know we're at zero lash. All right, so I'm gonna spin the push rod. You can see it spinning, just stop spinning. Okay, I've got it at zero lash, and you can see when I just barely push down on the rocker, it, it moves. So I'm there at zero, right at zero. I'm going to rotate the engine over 90 degrees and then I'll go in the firing order, which is on a Chevrolet 1843 So I'm going to put a mark every 90 degrees on that balancer. So I know this may seem elementary, but what I did was I took a tape measure. This is a good tape measure for doing like tire stagger, stuff like that. So I measured all the way around the balancer and it's 22 inches. So what I'm gonna do is divide that into three more lines and then that way I'll know exactly, and I'm gonna mark it with a Sharpie, so I'll know exactly where I can do one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. So I'm on number one and six right now at top dead center. And when I go around 180 degrees, it'll be number six, but the piston will be up on compression stroke. But now I know that I can go to number eight at the next mark that I'll make. So every five and a half inches on the balancer, I'll put a mark five and a half, 11, 16 and a half, and then zero is already there. As I mentioned before, 22 inch circumference balancer. So every five and a half inches, I put a mark and that shows me which cylinder is at top dead center. Cylinder number seven is the one I'm about to check. If I go around 360 degrees, then number four will be the cylinder that'll be at top dead center. Rotated another 360 and number seven. So with the engine at TDC on number one, I'm basically going through and adjusting them in this order. I've got the rockers sitting on the ones that I'm gonna adjust. I'm gonna adjust them to zero lash to start with. And then I'm gonna rotate it over to 180 degrees to number six. And then I'm gonna go through and adjust the number six, these cylinders to zero lash. And then I'm gonna go back through and give it my three quarter turn after I recheck them. I rotated the engine over so it's on TDC number six, two, four, six, which is right here. So I'm gonna adjust both of these. And I'm also gonna adjust number four intake and number eight intake as well. And then on the other side of the engine, as I mentioned, I'm gonna adjust five, seven, three, and that's it. I'm gonna set them at zero, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do to finish off the flash to double check and to put the three-quarter turn in. So I've got every cylinder at zero flash. And as you might've seen in an earlier video or earlier in this video, so I'm back to number one TDC, and I went, took a tape measure around the balancer, and I measured every quarter, 
for every 90 degrees, and then I put a mark. So there's eight and five cylinders. So one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That way it make it a little bit easier for me as I go through this process. But right now I'm gonna go through the firing order and recheck my zero to start with. I'm gonna start with number one. And then I'm also gonna turn in, turn the nut three quarters of a turn. after I reach it. So that one could use just a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and turn it three quarters of a turn. And as I go down the line, put a check after I do three quarters of a turn. So number one's done, it's on to number eight. Number eight's done, it's on the number four. All right, I finished turning my three quarter turn in all the way through the firing order. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two on a Chevrolet. And now they're ready, ready to run. Now, this is a hydraulic lifter setup. Of course, a, a solid lifter is completely different. So maybe I'll do that in a future video. But I'll show you the difference in a solid lifter and a hydraulic here right now.